Howdy, y'all. Thank you so very much for taking time to come over and visit with me over on Fritz Rochester's Heating and Air's YouTube channel. I'm Fritz Rochester. I'm a licensed Kentucky HVAC master contractor right here in Louisville, Kentucky, y'all. And I've got well over 25 years of uh, field experience. And I guess I'll share a little history with y'all real quick. Uh, basically, when I started, I started off as a helper. And uh, basically what they did was they had me working in the shop. And I guess what they were doing was they see, seeing if they wanted to uh, spend, you know, spend the time and money to invest in me to actually, uh, you know, turn me out into the field. And what I did for approximately, I guess, about eight or nine months, man, this was back when the big construction boom was going on. I don't know if y'all, some of y'all remember that, but we had a major construction boom going on years ago. And um, basically what I did was... Uh, I'd, uh, I'd run the uh, duct work through the lock former, through the Pittsburgh machine, take it over to the brake. And I don't know if y'all, the younger ones, remember the internal wrap, but uh, we used to internal wrap everything. And, man, I'm here to tell you that was one nasty job. And if you weren't, weren't going to stay with it, man, that, that would be what broke you. Because I'm here to tell you that glue stunk to a high heaven. And that insulation, once you got that stuff on there with that glue, you look like a straw man when it was time to get off work and go home. And I'm here to tell you, man, you better took you a cold shower when you got home to get that insulation off of you and made sure, you know, you wash your, your clothes in cold water or, oh man, it was terrible. I'm running on though. But uh, anyway, guys, after I did my helper stint, uh, they decided to put me out in the field and they, they partnered me up with a journeyman. And what they did then was they uh, actually uh, petitioned the state and got me an apprentice card. Once I got my apprentice card, I went out with my journeyman, and I did that for uh, exactly two years. Uh, you have to be an apprentice at least two years before you can take your journeyman's test here in Kentucky. And what I did was I, after that, I went out and I applied myself personally to the state, and I took my journeyman's, I tested out, did fine, and I uh, got that, and man, I was so proud of that. And I did that for several years. Uh, once I did that for several years, I decided that I was going to start my own company, so I petitioned the state again, and I took the Master HVAC uh, Kentucky Contractors uh, License Exam, and I had to, you know, prove that I had insurance and all that good stuff, and uh, once I passed that, which I was beyond proud of, um, I was able to, uh, you know, conduct business here in the state of Kentucky. I was able to buy stuff, advertise the whole nine yards. But uh, anyway, guys, I'm loving every minute of it. I love what I do for a living. It's uh, it's an excellent trade. But uh, anyway, guys, basically what I'm doing here on this video is I'm kind of shifting gears a little bit. I wanted to thank everybody so very much for for tuning in to my new my new series. It's uh, HVAC Tool of the Day. And what we're actually doing with that series is I'm actually showing uh, some of the tools that I actually personally use out in the field. And uh, we're going to shift gears with that a little bit too. And I'm actually going to be doing uh, another uh, kind of a, a series within the series, HVAC parts of the day. And basically what I'll be doing is uh, showing you all parts that I actually use out in the field and all that good stuff. But uh, anyway, along with that, I wanted to say thank you so very much for visiting my Amazon storefront. And guys, what I did was I made an Amazon storefront, and it's called HVAC Tools of the Trade. And that's where I'm featuring a lot of the tools that I actually own, and I'm featuring other tools that I think would actually be pertinent and relevant to uh, you know the new HVAC service tech or the new HVAC installer and I'm actually hoping that even some of the seasoned veterans um, actually get a kick out of the tools as well but uh, like I said uh, most every every one of us in the industry here are tool hounds and we, we just love tools to death and uh, basically what I wanted to share with you real quick, like I said, I'm kind of shifting gears here, is a purchase that I just made on Amazon that I'm actually featuring on my Amazon storefront. And I've seen this. I've got those uh, lamps uh, like you get at the Home Depot right there where you check out those headlamps. But I've seen this one, guys. I'm sorry about the glare. It's really sunny out here, but it's a beautiful day. But uh, anyway, guys, uh, I've bought those lamps before from like the Home Depot, and they're, they're halfway decent. But this one said 10,000 looms. So I said, oh boy, all right, we got to try that one out. So what I'll do is I'll actually, uh, I'll show this to you all here in a bit. And I'm here to tell you, I think this thing is going to work out great. But uh, I've got a little thing in store with you uh, for that. But if any of y'all have been following me for any time whatsoever, you know I love Klein tools. I do love Klein tools. But that's the thing too, about these tools. I have never, ever in my life told somebody that they needed a specific tool. Um, these are just tools that I have field tested myself that I actually like. Now, there are other tools on the market that are fantastic. Don't get me wrong. And, heck, I'd like to own all the tools, man. Like I said, most of them are tool hounds. But uh, 
anyway, well, there's one tool. Every one of us that actually work out in the field is an HVAC service tech that work on combustion equipment, that work on gas-fired equipment, need to have a combustion analyzer. I don't care what kind you get, but you need to have one. Now, <laughs> now that's my preaching for the day. But anyway, like I said, if any of y'all have been following me whatsoever, you know I love Klein tools. And uh, basically, guys, I've got the quarter inch and the 516th nut drivers that I've been packing for years. But I seen this and I thought, well, man, that'll eliminate some space. Uh, this is like a two and one. It's a quarter and a five sixteenths. But look, I'll open this up in a minute and I'll show it to you real quick. But of course, I had to get the stubby as well. So I think that's the cat's, cat's pajamas. And uh, back in the day, guys, you know, you'd go to the parts house and they'd always give you a little something, something. You know, you'd always get those little screwdrivers, you know, with the magnet ends and, you know, that, that fit on thermostats and everything. And uh, I just thought this was pretty cool. It's a four in one electronic screwdriver and it looks like it's going to fit all the thermostats. And it's got, uh, it, it's pretty cool. I'll open this up and show it to you here in just a bit. But uh, anyway, guys, I wanted to say thank you so much for watching my videos. Thank you so much for watching my new series. And thank you so very, very much for going over and visiting me over on my Amazon storefront. That truly does mean the world to me, guys. Thank you so much for your support. All right, guys, let's hop in here and see what we got. <laughs> All right, guys, I got our new clients unboxed here. Here's my old set. My 5 sixteenths and quarter. And I, man, these are these are my go-to tools. But uh, it looks like I might be able to retire them and uh, free up a little bit of space. But uh, anyway, guys, it's uh, on the new Klein here. I've got it threaded all the way out, and that's the 5 sixteenths. And I was actually wondering if it'll actually fit in here good. And uh, look, it actually bottoms out on it real well. Looks like it's a pretty good fit. Of course, it's magnetized. So let's go ahead and drop it down here and take it to our quarter and see how it fits. Looks like it fits pretty snug. Man, I love it, guys. Ain't that something? All right, now let's try out our, uh, our stubby here. Oh yeah, looks like it fits pretty daggone good. Let's put a quarter on it. All right, guys, I love these. Now, do y'all remember this one? Um, I actually thought it was the cat's pajamas and I had to run out and get it, but <clears throat> the thing would never lock. So that's what I'm thinking. This is a, a great design here where you can actually lock it. Whenever I'd be in a situation, man, I'd, I'd have this dude up and she'd pop back down, pop back down. With this, that's not going to happen. That is so cool. That is super cool. But uh, that's kind of in uh, the archive bin. But, uh, all right, guys, let's take a, a peek at our four-in-one uh, screwdriver here, our precision screwdriver. And these are the, the type of screwdrivers we used to get back in the day at, uh, at the parts houses. And some of them would actually pull out. You'd have like a flat, flat, uh, a flat on one side and a, 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 a Phillips on the other. But uh, this, this particular one doesn't do that. But uh, anyway, guys, I think I'm going to dig this one. Get my little cap off here all right guys take a peek at that dude little small Phillips little bitty flat a little bit bigger Phillips a little bigger flat I think I'm going to dig this one, guys. And it looks like, you know, you got you got more area here. You're going to get more torque. Look at that. And what I like about this, it's got that little spinner on it, so I guess you can apply more pressure as you're turning it in. But uh, 
anyway guys i just think these are the cat's pajamas like i said i love klein and i'm going to free up some space with these and uh all right now i want to show you my new lamp but if you know me <laughs> you know i love to mod things you know i put magnets on everything or i do something to it and i make my own cases or whatnot but uh all right let me get right to all right that. guys here's right, the guys. headlamp that i normally use it's a energizer that i picked up at home depot and uh you know those are the ones like you see standing in the line but uh it's actually a good little lamp but i'm here to tell you